Well, the paintings themselves are all kind of um, depictions of the various kind of artist spaces in a studio building where I share a space with about 16 other artists, mostly graduates of um, LSAD. And I suppose I've spent about eight years there in that particular studio. For that reason, over the years, I've kind of... It's almost like a rite of passage for a graduate from the Art College in Limerick to take a space in one of the studios in the city for a while, you know. You know, it's almost kind of humorous to make the spaces appear as dull as possible, you know, because that's kind of um, the antithesis of how you would imagine living the dream of being a practicing artist would be, you know. It's kind of a contradiction to have this grey space when you're doing this supposedly very meaningful and colourful activity. You know. I suppose when I started this whole project, it was kind of a departure from the paintings that had been doing in the years previous to that. So one day, I suppose, I just decided to paint what was there in front of me, you know, yeah. which I found was a very, a very liberating thing to do because there was no more kind of second guessing of subject matter or what the meaning of the work is or anything. It was just very straightforward depiction of the environment around me, you know. So I tried to maintain that kind of um, indifference to what was in the image mm -hmm. as I was working on each painting, you know, so um, essentially each painting is just a snapshot of the space as it was found, you know, and I didn't overthink, well, until the, maybe the last few paintings, I didn't really overthink uh, the kind of connotations of whatever mm -hmm. imagery was in any particular painting, you know, it was just simply what was there, really. You know, I suppose like there is kind of a sense of mystery to each one because with a lot of the spaces you can kind of look beyond, it was kind of a recurring motif that I put into quite a few of the images is that on the side there's um, like a partition where you, there's shadows beyond, you know, and there's kind of a suggestion of another space in yeah. the shadows, you know, so there's that kind of sense of mystery to them as well, I suppose, you know. I suppose in terms of how the work is a kind of a document or it's kind of like, a, you know, a little snapshot in time of the studio, you know, so I suppose you could kind of relate that to photojournalism. Well, first of all, the paintings are made from photographs anyway. And in terms of composition, a lot of them are almost photographic compositions uh, in terms of how they're cropped. And, uh, you know, if you were painting from life, you probably wouldn't choose to paint the paintings in, that, in the way that they are. Um, but I suppose I use the word documentarian because it's kind of um, self-referential painting, you know. It's kind of like a painting, but turning its lens in on itself to kind of look back at the art world, you know, to kind of see uh, almost like what's on the other side of like your average gallery show or something like that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of painting that references itself and references um, artistic practice in general, I suppose. I did two paintings near the end of this whole project which are kind of like almost like still lives so it's kind of moving away from painting spaces and focusing on objects instead. Uh, one is the vitamin P book and then there's another painting of the radio and the dole letter which is kind of the everyday reality of uh, uh, working in a studio you know mm -hmm. and being on the dole and being a painter and stuff and then on the other hand you have the kind of dreams and aspirations of being in you know vitamin P or something like that, yeah. Because that that kind of sense of austerity is something that all the paintings are about as well. You know, it's kind of um, it's kind of a cliche like the artist working in the garage or whatever. But I suppose it's kind of like a twenty first century equivalent of that old kind of starving artist notion. Mm. You know, or it's a play on that anyway. Well, I suppose to, like we were talking earlier about George Shaw, he might be someone that. Uh, might have influenced this whole project because um, I suppose, you know, there's a kind of a cynicism to his paintings that might be in these paintings too. Yeah, I mean, the whole the whole Hennessy thing was just, it's been great for my career in general, you know, so, yeah, just very lucky to have it all happen, I suppose, really. Terry, thanks so much for taking the time to chat about your work and this brilliant show entitled Cheers. Canvas here at the source and best of luck with all your... Thanks, Gina. My Cheers. pleasure. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks. So much.